Hello. Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox on the Series X, just as the sun is coming up on Pertum and the sun is up in the United Kingdom. Good morning. And yeah, mobile base. Um, we've changed it a little, or right? I've changed it a little off camera. Uh, I've removed the two and brought this down to one. I've added some shock absorbing tires round by the landing gear and I've removed one of these stairwells so that we have room when we land to take advantage of potentially rocky terrain getting on and off. Apart from that, it's fairly the same. We're going to look at making our drill bay and we're also looking at cosmetic detailing here using the various blocks to make some interesting looking doorways to make it look a little nicer And we've got auto closing doors using a timer block if you want to know how to do that. I've got videos on that on the channel. And uh, yeah, so what I've been doing is I've been using various blocks. make these little door sides this one just to make these little always and uh, here you can actually fit those blocks alongside your offset door and they'll make a fairly smooth transition on the design. So, what have we got to do? Well, we've got our hydrogen system so we can recharge our bottles and power. But now, We've got to look at our drill bay. But before we do that, let's go and turn on our thrusters. And off our landing gear briefly, or switch the lock on them, and just lift this thing a few feet off the ground. Because when we do the drill bay, we want to get underneath properly. But before we do that, we're going to just jump out. Now, remember I told you it was important to name this thing using the info tab. The reason is you want to create a blueprint. And to do that, don't worry about the screenshot for the time being. Just point at your... Click in the right stick, go to the Blueprint Actions, and you'll see Create Blueprint. Confirm it, and there you go. You've got a blueprint. 
and that will help if there's any issues with the build whatsoever if we accidentally blow it up and we haven't got a save or you even want to bring it in using a projector but remember it won't project any subgrids so if you've got a ship attached here it won't project that ship you'd have to use a separate projector for that one but now we are lifted we can look at our simple drill bay and we can measure down using some blocks just start off with some light armor blocks bring it down to the floor and then we can look at taking out the bay remember you'll be using a grinder if you're doing this in survival or rather if you're doing this in survival without creative mode tools and now we've got that we can just pull that yeah since we're going to be using a set of drills rather than just the ordinary one drill we want a fairly decent sized drill pit to stop us from falling in we can place some useful railings Over here like this leave a gap on the side moment put some way of controlling our drill uh, we could use a control seat control station or a flight seat or if you've got the helm which I have popping that on there actually works really well a quick save and now we're getting to doing our drill. So what we want now are two pistons and an advanced router. So let's see. We get the two pistons, and you'll see when you put down a piston. Correct place to put it like so. Now our advanced rotor, not a regular rotor, because we want to um, place our. Let's get in the right place. We want to place our. Um, advanced rotor so we can use the conveyor bring in our material and to begin with we're going to look at hopefully A drill and like that, just just about right. And drills 
around like this. One last drill there. And to remove your tool from your hand, hold down the left bumper, press B. Or block or anything. A little bit of cosmetic. We'll uh, make a little drill head using the slope blocks. Still got enough there. You don't want to do is you don't want to block your rotor. So to get away with that, what you can do is go into your light armor slopes this time and pop some of these light armor slopes down like this. Those again. Now. One of these will have the thing I'm after. Might be that one. Let's do it from the top. the fun just trying to work out where these things go. There we are. And again, this is just all cosmetic. Nicer. And you can do this. On the bottom as well. Just scoot around. Keep an eye on your hydrogen if you are doing what I'm doing. Rather than building any supports and platforms. So there you go, you've got your drill head. Quick save. And let's replenish that. Okay, so what we want to do while we're here is do this quickly just by hopping up here. And we want this piston, piston, drill. And while we're here, we'll just nip into this piston as well. We'll call this drill. Two. Got piston drill one, piston drill two. A bit of housekeeping in a minute. And the easiest way to do this is to go for your drills and just type drill, and select all your drills, and then just call it something like drills. Be 
And while we're here as well, we'll go for the advanced rotor. And pull that advanced rotor drill. While we're on the advanced rotor, we'll throw on share inertia tensor to stop the drill shake. Same on our pistons. Put share inertia tensor on. Remember the rule with share inertia tensor is you can't put it on unless you've got experimental mode on. Okay, so we want to set a few things up now. Uh, for a start, we don't want our um, drill pistons moving too quickly. We want to set their velocity to minus five meters a second at the moment. So Bring it down. That. And just quickly check. It's nice and slow. We're not going to mess with the maximum or minimum distance because this isn't an automated system yet. And what we want now is the same. We want to think about doing something with our um, advanced rotor look at our rotor displacement for a start and we'll pull that up some like so and our velocity is set at So we're starting really slowly to begin with. And we want to think about one RPM. It's a nice slow rotation for our rotor. And then just press X and we'll turn it off. It'll take a bit of time to slow. So we could put a few newtons of braking torque on there. Try five. You could set it to half, which is 31.6, and see if that helps it stop. Push it all the way over here, then it'll start and stop really quickly. But you'll notice that what will happen is as we're moving, we're getting some phantom forces which are interacting with the grid. And this is what happens when you've got rotors and pistons active. What you want to do for now, just maneuver the ship back away from anything. And we've got our Pit. We want to set up some controls for the time being on the shortcuts. So while we're on our shortcut, we want to turn the rotor on and off. So we push up on the D-pad and we find our advanced rotor drill and just put that to toggle block on off. And then on the left, we want to find our first piston drill one and we want to reverse that and the same deal piston two and we want to reverse that and that is that's going to give us a decent amount of drilling for now and we've got our drill pit and our drill and test it and also again 
we can. Blueprint. But what we want to do this time is we just want to click on our thing. And we want to copy the grid. And you'll see it's there. Left bumper B. RB. Then B. And from our mobile HQ, use the left stick once we make sure we are on the mobile HQ blueprint. And hit replace blueprint with clipboard. Permit. The screenshot won't alter. But we will now replace the blueprint that we had originally with the clipboard. And just to test it, just come down to the mobile HQ, press A and look. And you'll see that we've got our drill and our drill pit there, look. So all is going according to plan. And just to test this, jump in to the helm and we'll just bring this back down because again this isn't meant to fly all the time we want to be on the ground and the reason I've got the Tires round the landing gear is it helps when you landing. And then turn off the thrusters. And our base will begin to recharge again. And I've also built a uh, hydrogen engine for quick charging of the batteries slotted that in around the back just kind of see it there look inside landed enough and now we can look at using this drill pit save again start our rotors off and then what we want to do is add the drills now we've got the drill group already so hold down on the d-pad and then go to our groups Choose drills and toggle block on off. You'll see there's a bit of shape, but it's not as bad as it would be if I didn't have share inertia tensor on. And then just press left on the D pad. You'll start the drill off. This is why I also put two um, pistons down. Depending on the height of the ground. Starting to dig into the actual pertum earth. See, there's some drill shape, but not overly much. And we can, if we want, increase that distance between the drill and the advanced rotor by changing the height 
of the rate of displacement. Grinding in. Hear the sound of the refiner kicking in. Pulling stone through into it. up that and we'll see the connector the drills and the industrial refinery doing its job what you can do as well is you can set a timer block to increase our piston by 0.5 meters every say 60 seconds so that would be every revolution of the drill head you could move the piston down by one thus making sure that you're drilling an entire cycle as you go down that's the basic drill head as you see it's reached its maximum so now we can activate a second piston or we should be able to put it on correctly see that let's have a look yeah there you go it's going down and this method you could replace this whole piston assembly with a docked um, vertical miner those are interesting to build although you have to make sure that all of your thrusters are placed in such a way they don't get damaged on the way down but then you can actually have a miner you could jump into uh, mine and then fly up dock onto a connector and transfer all of your stone and ore into your refiner that's up to you or you could even make it so that you could control it as a drone uh, from this helm, I've uh, covered remote control drones and things in the past. But there it is. That's the drill pit. And that's everything so far. One more thing um, to do. Just as a recap, it's a little thing to get used to. So if we these pistons back turn off that turn off that Let that reset when you're making your blueprints what you want to do is you want to make sure that everything is default to how you want it for your blueprint um, our blueprint at the moment only has three controls on the helm it's missing the drill and also you can see the helm's got target lock active so what we can do here is go to the helm and just go down here see the various displays and controls and what you can change is enable target locking change there don't want to control the thrusters or gyros or anything like that as well so you can turn that off you can also change the small screen 
to show the clock. And you can have the large display. Show energy and hydrogen as well. We're almost at a full reset. Takes a bit of time, but it's worth it to go slow. The slower you go with something like this, the better especially when drilling and while we're at it actually I'm going to change the root displacement just puts it down below a bit smoother excellent right now we've got that what we want to do apart from quick saving as I always do we just want to turn on the thrusters unlock the gear lift this thing as you'll notice now it's going to take a lot more lift that's because this thing is now quite heavy so we might have to add some more thrusters to it but what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's not connected to the ground and that the thrusters are on because when you're blueprinting it you don't even need to go outside now you could just look at the ground, copy the grid, and then go to your blueprint menu, RB and B, mobile HQ, replace, yes. Then what we're going to do next time is we're going to finalize this so we probably need to add some more thrusters because this thing is quite heavy now and if you look at the weight of it it's sitting at over a million the it drops like a brick. So there's no um, hover capability. And the power's alright because it's not going into the red. But that's for next time. I say we're just past the 30 minute mark on this one. So I will say my usual. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribes. The more we get the closer we get to our 2000 subscribers and the release of the all terrain armored transport from myself and Paul. And uh, we will be putting that up onto mod IO once we get that magical number. Everybody gets the at at. And if you've seen Paul's work, you'll remember him from the Jaeger, which is absolutely incredible. All the massive Terminator he built as well. Uh, some fantastic stuff that Paul has been doing so until then stay safe, take care, have fun enjoy the game please reach out in the comments if you've got any questions or if you are interested in me looking at a mod maybe suggestions for Xbox mods always, uh, I'll always look at them depending on what it is like i said can't really do much with scripting can't do much with dedicated servers but apart from that i'll cover most things on the channel 
keep watching at the skies for grid ai but that's me done thank you again i'll catch you in the next one bye for now